Talk about the importance of having OTAs and just getting that conditioning even before training. It's good because a lot of stuff that goes on right now is, is football movements. You want to be able to push off, um, be able to run. And it's good just being around your teammates, too. You get a chance to get very familiar with the playbook, get opportunity to just be on the field. And training is one thing, but actually doing football movements is, is a whole different animal. You know, act, 91 active roster members right now during OTAs. You know, this is the true spirit of football right now. Talk about watching these young guys fight for position. It's, it's cool to watch, especially being an older guy now. You get a chance to see them actually grind guys that are actually in it, guys that kind of pull themselves out of it. And not they, they really have no idea on, on, on how uh, a roster is made up and how important it is to go hard every day. So, um, But it's good. Like I said, our participation is huge right now. And, I, and uh, especially for the young guys, it's, it's, it's something that they need and it's something we enjoy. Yeah, it's good to be back. Good to be back out here uh, working with the guys, and I think uh, just kind of getting getting the rust knocked off and having fun flying around, having some football to a certain degree. Obviously, we're not in shoulder pads and uh, lower pads and everything, but it's still fun to play football. Talk about the spirit that you see from some of the young guys who are fighting for position. Yeah, that's that's always what keeps uh, keeps you in check. You know, you never get too comfortable with where you are if you're a starter or if you're a young guy. A lot of guys come out here and they're really motivated to show their worth and to show their effort, their work ethic, all that, the little intangible things that are going to get them a spot on this team.